I don't know how the, it happened because you know when I was a baby, when yeah. I was a young man, right? Because I, 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 I'd see, I, I would see those things are very two different. I was a baby young, young man. man. When I was a baby young man, you know what I mean? At eight, eight or nine or whatever. Eight or 30. Right? I would probably look, <laughs> I would probably analyze my penis maybe oh, yeah. 10 times a year. Oh, I love looking at my dick when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. But like really analyze it. Oh, I would, yeah. I would stretch the, you know, yeah. hold it, wet it. Uh -huh. What? I'd go into somebody's bathroom and lay on, the, lay on my side by the scale and just set it right on that. <laughs> oh, wow. If they had one of them little scales. Yeah, yeah, and I, you know, I used to put glue. Around, you know, I, you know, I used yeah. to on your penis. To make mold. Yeah, Elmer's glue on my dick. Mold. Oh, oh wow. wow. To make a mold. Try to make a mold. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, that's beautiful. And show it to my mom. Um, and you guys ever pull a worm out your butt before? Oh, what? Hello. What happened? Cut. That wasn't part of the line, baby. Uh -uh. Um, but I respect what you're talking about, <laughs> and I respect all women, and I think that. But you guys didn't have worms when you were younger. Huh? <laughs> no. One time yeah, when I was getting head and. Line to fucking line up on my dick for the girl mm -hmm. to snore. Oh yeah, but the coat got moist and she wasn't able to do oh. it. And then I had to take like a fucking paper towel and like wipe it off my dick. Dark days, dude. One time, a friend of mine got a blowjob from Jennifer Capriati on top of a restaurant in West Hollywood. I don't know who that is. The famous person? Nah. Oh. <laughs> and while Just it was happening, yeah. <laughs> while it was happening, he stepped on a glass skylight and fell through into the kitchen. Now, while getting head. Isn't that awesome, bro? I mean, it's awesome and it's also super. In you know, it's not awesome as well. Imagine just falling into a kitchen with your dick out. Dude, imagine fixing up a bouillabaisse base and a fucking white dude drops through. <laughs> Preparing a charcuterie board. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Just penis out, half a Yeah, bro. You just imagine you're struggling to open a jar of capers and a fucking big white dude falls through with his wank hanging out. out. Oh, man. I almost, Gosh, I had a almost, in, I had what a happened? semi run in with this girl. Nice girl. Pretty You've nice. talked about this before? Uh uh uh. Not, uh, in, years. not, not in years. Not for a while. Okay, for she wanted to have the baby. We ended up making love, and she wanted to have the baby. She, oh, she got pregnant. She oh, didn't. Got, but she said she felt pregnant. Okay. And when somebody's Native American, they Native feel American, pregnant, if they felt they're, they're, they're pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She did. She, she did a rain dance yeah. and fucking. Yeah. Oh my god. No, he's right here. Bro. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, she yeah. was like four score and. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I no, feel she, pregnant. She, she went and home I and her like, grand. What? She went home and her grandfather was like, something is different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, what, Papa? She, they told it. You they have told life within you. <laughs> around a campfire. Yeah. <laughs> you met the Rat King, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> the rat king has put his seed inside. Yeah. I smell cheese. So what, I saw a. <laughs> so what we know, I saw an owl. <laughs> what we know though is that you met a very a nice Indian beautiful girl, young lady, and yeah. you didn't use a condom. Never. Or did you? Never. I don't yeah. know if I did or not. Oh, I so I know you did. I'll I know you did. That. Then. No, so I know you, you did. did it. Yeah. If you, you don't know you did or not, then you, you know you did. I would bet that I may not have. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. And why? Dude in cocaine. Oh, go back to that vest story, man. So here's what happened. <laughs> so I, you know, I would get, I would do some cocaine at the house and put on these different vests. How I many had. did you buy again? I don't know. I spent too much on them, but <laughs> I would probably say <laughs> the priciest one I had was probably about $210. Nice. Damn. Yeah. And so I would get fucked up and put these vests on and put on sunglasses and not no like Buffalo Bill shit, but at least partying by myself, you know. Mm -hmm. And one time I was making a smoothie, you know, because I, you know, I have I got like a new I don't know what kind of blender it is, but it's pretty nice. And I was making like a nice smoothie and I'm fucking coked up. I'm partying, you know, mm -hmm. I'm living high on the hog. Got these two vests on maybe. Right. And I thought I, <laughs> dude, I thought I heard something outside. Right. Which is kind of weird to even think of. When you have a blender going, right? So I leave out of my apartment to go in the hallway, lock myself out with the blender going. <laughs> Two thirty in the morning, coked up out of my brain, right? <laughs> now I have to go to my landlord, dude, uh, who lives right down the hall, oh, no. and tell him like, "Hey, man." Two thirty in the morning. I I'm, got locked out. Locked and the blender's out and on, the blender's son. Going. Oh my god, he must have hated you. Oh, the blender shorts out and smoke happens. The fire uh, <sighs> alarm starts going off in the building right as I'm at his door knocking, right? Oh, my God. So now he's pissed, and he's like, what's going on? And I didn't know what to say. I told him that I was throwing a late Christmas party, dude. <laughs> it was fucking <laughs> end of January. How old were you at the time? <laughs> huh? Oh, this is two and a half years ago. So I was 35. <laughs> I was 35. <laughs> Bro, so he so, comes back to my apartment, right? He's fucking uh, pissed. He unlocks the door. There's nobody in there. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, man, but that's it. It was fun. 
Oh my god. That was fun. How long did you live there for? I still live there. Whoa. Yeah, we've passed. I mean, we've kind of. <laughs> You know, like I've caught him doing some things. So I think, I think, I think we're all even. Fucking bold, man, Let me ask bro. you something right now, yeah. Luke. And this is a real question, dude. Mm-hmm. If, um, if like people in the, this country had a disease, right? Mm-hmm. And they're all going to die. What's my favorite disease? No, the only and the only way to cure it is if you suck my dick. Mm-hmm. Would you suck my dick? I'm talking about billions of people, bro. Well, billions of people. What? What do you mean? What? Well, you said like. <laughs> Basically, you said, would you suck my, my dick? dick? <laughs> you think it's a people? Yeah. I was like, yeah. So, this is it. Yeah. Yeah. And no offense to you, I just don't have anything else to say, and I feel bad talking this much. How long would it take for you to drink all the water in an above-ground pool? Oh, man, this is fucking good, dude. I don't know, man. Probably. I bet a year and a half. It's a very solid answer. You'd be surprised how many people are like, three days. Oh, no way, dude. Bro, and also, you can't drink consecutively. You can only drink about a gallon straight before, like, the electrolytes in your body switch up and you can die. So, dude, I drank a gallon at my buddy Tim's house one time. Fucking went to take a nap. Bro, pissed on his floor. 12 by 12 square foot room, dude, and the pool touched all four walls, bro. Wisconsin. What's up, Theo? Brendan? Um, I'm just out here, thick boy, eating a snack. Okay. Gotta trust a skinny snacker. Hell yeah. Okay. Respect. And uh, when you eat an Oreo, you have to have milk. There's no debate in that. Mm-hmm. No, I, I debate it. it. But I, I got picked like down milk. a lot because I eat mine with a fork. Oh, that's strange. So I got a debate club. When you dip in the milk, you use a fork or fingers. Gang, gang. Okay. I like, I am a huge proponent of the fork. I use forks. When people, they get, I use fork with an ice cream. If it's cold enough, I use fork with the ice cream. That's stupid. Okay. That's no, stupid. it's not, dude. That's you so get more. You, you, okay, guy. Yeah. All right. So you're mad. So you're mad because because I enjoy something, which you're always getting <laughs> mad at me for fucking being negative. But with a and fork. And I enjoy using a fork. So I enjoy something. So now I can't even like stuff, right? <laughs> no, what's weird. You are an inmate <laughs> who is not locked up. If you are eating ice cream with a fork. You are going to hell, boy. I, 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 <laughs> I like using. Here's what. When no, I, no, 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 no. That's like, hey, you know what, dude? I'm gonna eat this uh, stromboli with a piano. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish off this soup here with a photo of my grandparents. Oh, fuck. I like. Um, brace yourself for a double the disappointment because mm. when I confronted my family about not having my back when an older family member uh, molested me. I didn't get the reaction that I wanted. Oh, yeah. And it kind of made, made me spiral even more because I'm like, oh, what was the point of even attempting to open up with them? Mm. And I would have, I would be forced into this situation with my abuser and I'd have to spend Christmas with him and everyone's just like, come on, it's Christmas. Like, oh, just yeah. let it all go. And I'm like- I love Christmas. I, I know, my favorite. But so I would say manage your expectations. I don't, don't. don't. Uh, no, I love it too. Sorry. I love it too. <laughs> you stop, bro. Would you I rather go to jail for one year or go to jail with a Rubik's cube and you can leave when it's done? Oh man! How quick you think you do a Rubik's Fuck, cube? Fuck, bro. Man. Science one, huh? I would rather. I'd go to jail for a year. I think it'd be great. These days, relaxing, get some reading done. You know, get in shape. You know, maybe get beat up or raped. Though. Yeah, get some diverse friends. Okay. How, how long does it take you to do a Rubik's cube? A Rubik's cube? I bet I could probably do it in a week. <laughs> but, you want, but you want the year in jail, so you could get yeah. out in a week, but you'll take the year. Oh, dude, I'd love to have some time to just relax, honestly. And I'm a pretty simple man. As long as yeah, if I'm in there, I heard the lights are on at night though. That would be the part I, that wouldn't do. And it tastes so good. Dude, I used to leave City Grill in Tucson, Arizona. Dude, I'd get in the car, bro. I'd put in Abbey Road. I had a cassette tape, dude. Yeah. I had a cassette tape, bro, and I'd put that in. And somebody stole my passenger seat out of my car, dude, and I didn't give a Jack fuck, Jacked the whole bro. seat. Yeah. You had and a race I, car at that point then. Yeah, it was just like if you got in the front, you had to sit in the back. You know, it was like that. <laughs> and I would just so put that So we asked uh, your brothers, what was your biggest accomplishment in high school? Theo. What was my biggest accomplishment in high school? Mm-hmm. Mm. Probably sex. 
Just sex in general. Like having sex during night. I'm trying three. to think, is it, is it, it, can anything be applicable? <laughs> yeah. Biggest accomplishment in high school. <laughs> Man. Damn, these are I don't tough. even know what mine would be. I'm, I'm trying to think of. You better think of it, huh? Yeah. Probably just being a bitch. Both of y'all. <laughs> Let me think. It is tough. High school. What your you biggest think? accomplishment? Not getting a swirly on a Thursday or some shit? <laughs> Giving you, you would give them. I got, yeah. Imagine getting one with your hair now. It'd be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be refreshing. It's okay. nice water. <clears throat> biggest accomplishment in high school for me, you're asking me? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, Take your time. I would probably say... Having friends or sex? Cute. Friends, or, friends or sex. Well, all right, Chris. And anybody can shout out their answer. I yeah, I, I okay. understand. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I, I thought we were taking turns. Yeah, okay. I, I think maybe for me it was it, 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 it's either it's, I, they would I, it's either like doing pl musicals and plays. I was fucking, you know oh. what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or it might be That's you your know, biggest accomplishment in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I was really happy with that yeah. and doing that. Or I, were you like a lead though? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Or were you just uh, got in the background? I, yeah, I was a lead. Were yeah. you in car uh Greece? No. I did do car. Greece. Greece. Car yeah. is not a musical. Car is a thing you drive and we all <laughs> it's drove. It's also one a here. famous song by Tracy car? Chapman. Car? Just you car? car? Dude? <laughs> were you in car? Are oh, you an I alien? Know. He thinks you're Light Mc the voice of Lightning no, McQueen. No, the singers where you wear the thing, the <laughs> bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> were you in it are you, are you saying are, are you saying choir oh there we go choir <laughs> choir how do they spell it what the fuck is wrong with you bro they spell like choir yeah, whatever Mark and his daughter over there fuck you guys <laughs> both of you guys are fucking tripping bro yeah this is a that's oh, weird as fuck one of my favorite books is where the crawdads sing and it's so good I read it you read it yeah I've been trying to get him to read it's it. It's unbelievable. It's the best. It's the best book. And I, I love the way her life in the marsh and all of that, how she just kind of learned it in her own way when it was better than any other encyclopedia out there. I yeah. want to test it out. Did you really fucking read the book? Yes, I did. Because I got the audio book. Yeah. yeah. Should I listen to it? I mean, look, at this point, yeah, might as well, you know? You got the audio book. You've already taken all the freaking brain work out of it. <laughs> now you're asking, should I listen to it? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't strain yourself, but get out. <laughs> get out there. It was a weird no, thing because at first it was just like a few people, and then the I think other people just. Oh, one thing about the suites I noticed: people, you could walk into any suite. I walked into one on accident. It was FedEx, right? And it was all good. <laughs> Oh, dude, you're chilling. And then there's like a little like glass like this between the next one. And mm -hmm. Drake was standing right there drinking a uh, soda. He's right? my fave. So it that's was like so nine weird. white guys, you yeah. know, because that's who FedEx is. Bro. Right. <laughs> yeah. if you get, once you get not. past the cardboard is a brown front. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Once you get yeah. past the packaging, yeah. it's fucking white as fuck. But yeah, but it's. it's, it's uh, this guy is coming up in the world, not just in comedy, but in general. 72 days of pornography. Mm -hmm. 72 days Very off proud. of pornography. Yeah, we just talked about it last week. Oh, that's Very right. Proud 72 you. days. If you guys smell a full bag, that's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> is that you, daddy? Is that daddy? Is that a full bag of that's juice? That's daddy. Wow. <laughs> that's daddy. You guys hear a lot I thought I heard something when you walked in. Oh, yeah, that's coom, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. You know? that's cool. Honestly, if you were sealed. sent back to the Roman Empire with a fully charged iPhone, do you think you could take over the world, dude? <laughs> Fuck no, dude. I think they would probably beat you up. They would say you're gay and they would beat you. <laughs> if you want to be honest. And no offense if anybody's gay, I might be gay. You know, when I was on the show, I, w I did Portland Friday night. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second show, um, what club? At the uh, Helium. Mm -hmm. How was it? It's okay. Yeah. Fun. And I was on stage and then I, I, I was doing a bit and all of a sudden I just shit my pants. Oh, yeah. Have you ever shit your pants on stage? No, I've shit my pants like in a couple of different places, but I've never shit my pants on stage. But you... And I I, had, I stopped the show. Yeah. Oh. I went, good night. And I went back backstage. And then here's the crazy Ugh. part. No, it was the first show Friday night because yeah. then I took my pants down Ugh. and there was a load of shit in my pants. Oh. No warning? No, you don't have leaky shit. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, and then what happened was um who cares what happened after that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this is already disgusting. 
<laughs> and it's already like here's the thing. Guy. I know, but can I just guy? Can I just finish my story, guy? Yeah, you can. All right. Um, so I go, I go to the manager. I go the hey, manager. Like they manage your fucking asshole, dude. No, I go grow get, up. Go, can you go get go to the store and get me a modium AD? What? Right. Because you had a second show. For a second show. Modium AD from what? The periodic table? No, a modium. <laughs> no, that's not an element, bro. Yeah, it is. No, no, look at no. A modium AD. A modium AD. Uh, where does honey come from? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Where does honey honey? come from trees. Come from yeah. the so, woods. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, he um, wouldn't do it. Yeah. Oh, give me a modium Because he's a fucking adult, dude. No, no. How am I going to do the second show if, I'm, if I have diarrhea? I don't care. Wrap your body in something, dude, and get out there, <laughs> shit boy. You know? Paddle the fucking riddles, shit boy. Get right. the, the deal is. All of the features I have aren't necessarily attractive. I get it. My nose, my eyes, my mouth. Your forehead. You could argue for my mouth. <laughs> Your forehead. My forehead. Keep my going. hair. You could argue for my forehead or my mouth. But all the other features, they're not good if you put them on other people's. But the way they come together on mine and the way I fucking let the line shine through out of it, um. I may not be hot. But boy, is there something about me, dude. <laughs> yeah. And you know it. You like and wrong. that it's the X factor. is gold. It's the X that's factor. the X factor. And that's way better than know. being a fucking chair. You don't that's know way better than being a good that's looking dude. Factor. You think, yeah, exactly. Some people are good looking and have the X factor. Me, I figured it out. That's why models and TikTok people start to do stand up. Oh, Here's buddy. what does it for Chris that helps him out. Uh -huh. And I'll go. say it, and there you don't go. have it. And you, you, uh, you might have it. He has a. Ne he has a length of neck yeah. that I do not have. If I had an extra half inch of neck, mm. you'd be fucked. <laughs> <laughs>